left something I could connect with people, I could reach out and touch them and change their lives. And that's, that's the key thing, it's not thinking about yourself that's important, it's helping others to move on, to help them to move on forwards and do the things for them, because then you get the joy for what's happening. If you look at yourself and yourself, your own life, you think, nah, this is no good, you know, I'm no good, what, what am I doing? But if you start looking it out to other people and helping them and moving them forward, then the joy comes back to you and then you get it back yourself and then you say, oh, I could do this, I could do that, and so on. So that's the biggest change. Any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> Someone over there. Oh, oh I've got one. Oh. Right. Um, were you amazed at how simple it was to come and know Jesus Christ? Yes. It was, it, was like, it was like there was a wall of stress in my life and it just disappeared overnight going to Alpha. After that first day of that prayer, it just changed. And then after accepting that, then getting prayer and going through and reading the Bible, what it said, looking at the um, Nicky Gumbel videos, it made a huge difference. Yeah, anyone else? The Alpha, oh, <laughs> the Alpha meal is a, a meal where everyone can come and have a meal with some lovely wine and food. Um, they come and watch a video and basically introduce you to the, the OCB, which is the church building. And basically, you just have a good chat with everybody around. Um, you to have a talk about Jesus and have lots of food. And then you decide, you, you get to see the environment. It's not like a church, you know, going to a church, sitting on a pew, saying, Father, forgive me, I've sinned. It's actually talking, being open, honest, having a good conversation about um, how it affects, you know, God and how it, how, it, how it changes your life, really. Any more? It's <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> well, that's a good point. That's a, well, I'm already a tip. Battery gone? No. Oh, no. Um, I didn't think I would become a teacher. I was, I was working in flight simulation. Um, I did civil flight simulation. I was training pilots to fly um, by doing the graphics. And then they swapped me over to military. And I didn't like that at all, so I left because I didn't really want to train people to kill people. I mean, it's not me. It's not, you know, I can't go there. Um, so I left that job. I, I ended up in programming, which is a programmer, which is what I did. And then eventually I got into teaching. And I didn't think I could do it. I still didn't think I could do it. It's only this year that I think, actually, I can teach. And it's only because of Alpha that I've actually feel like I've got the authority to teach. Now, later on, I hope to obviously go out to um, uh, the nations. I'm going to go to Africa this year. Um, and I'll probably end up talking about God there to people and saying how much he loves them. To, um, and I'm, I've got a big thing about healing because I've seen so many sick people in my life. I've been sick with cancer, eczema, asthma. And I, my big thing is that God can actually heal us. So that's, that's the message I will preach. Um, because Jesus is in us and when he died on that cross, the shackles was claiming our healing, our rights to be healed. And he doesn't want anyone sick in this world at all. If anybody says that, oh, that person's sick because it's teaching you a lesson, or, oh, that person's sick because he's sinful, it's rubbish. Jesus died on the cross so we could be saved and healed. So, and that's why people are going on the streets now healing people, because it's, it's what he wants. He just he wants, he loves everyone. He wants to show his love and he wants to heal people. Any more? And you're tricking me off now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there, I don't know. You talked about the Holy Spirit. Yeah. What would happen during the Holy Spirit time? Um, what, what, what do you mean? To you, what happened to you? What happened to you during the Holy Spirit weekend? Um, I got the Holy Spirit about two days in from Alpha at home, which was really strange, and I didn't know what was going on. And then when I went to Alpha and got prayed for, it sort of confirmed what was happening at my home. So what did happen? So what did happen? Um, it's, it's just an electric feeling that runs down, you get the shakes, um, you get a sense of joy and love. It's, it's like, almost like being drunk, but you're not no hangover, which is lovely. <laughs> Someone can complain about that. Um, and the sensation comes through you, and that's got stronger and stronger as I've gone on. It's um, gone to some conference, it's been amazing. I've never felt anything like it in my life, and I've done a lot of things. And I've never, never, ever felt anything like it in my life. I can tell you that. <laughs>
but a lot of you know what I'm talking about, and some of you probably don't. <laughs> but, there you go. but once you have that, once you've felt that, it changes your life because then you know you've got something tangible that, that that's not that's not just theory, and uh, that makes a big difference. There's, there's a young lad over there with his hand up. Hello. Say again. What's the question? What's in my soul and heart? Is that? Yeah, love. That's right. It's love and joy. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that was a testament in half. Is that? Yeah. Thank you very much. You said it would work out, didn't you? I give people a, a, a reversal and sometimes I don't and uh, I've got more than a verse for you but I, I, and I just feel this seems to have come again and again and again this, this, this morning it's in Judges chapter 6 I'm actually going to read a few verses it says um, it's all about this guy called Gideon okay and this seems to come again and again this morning. It says, Then the Lord's angel came to, verse 11, came to the village of Ophrah, and sat under the oak tree that belonged to Joash, a man of the clan of Abiezer. His son Gideon was thrashing some wheat secretly in a winepress, so the Midianites would not see him there. So here we have this guy hiding, all right, because these folk called the Midianites would come and steal everything that they had. Okay, so he's threshing some wheat, and he's just quietly, secretly doing it there. Verse twelve: The Lord's angel appeared to him there and said, "The Lord is with you, brave and mighty man." Didn't look very brave and mighty, did he? Hiding in secret, okay. But the Lord's angel came and said, Brave and mighty man. Because I want to say to you, Brave and mighty man, today. Verse 13 Gideon said to him, If I may ask, sir, so, why has all this happened to us if the Lord is with us? What about all the wonderful things our others told us the Lord used to do? He brought us out of Egypt, you know. And so he's saying, look, what, what about all this stuff that was going on? It, it seemed to be happening there. What, what about now? Verse 14, And the Lord ordered him, Go with all your great strength. Be careful here, because we often talk about God's strength, and we say it's all God's strength in us. He says, go with your strength. Okay? But of course he doesn't finish it. He says, go with all your great strength. He says, rescue Israel from the Midianites. These are the ones that we're attacking. I myself am sending you. And Gideon replied, but Lord, how can I rescue Israel? My clan's the weakest in the tribe of Manasseh, and I'm the least important member of my family. So he's going, what, me? Really? You really mean me? Hey, me? Verse 16, this is the one. The Lord answered, you can do it because I'll be with you. And I want to say to you today, Rob, you can do it because God says, I will be with you. Okay. But he does say, you go in your strength, but he says, I will be with you. It's quite different from some of the things that we that we've looked at okay but i believe that's wrong i believe it's for you and i believe it's for this morning god bless you come on let's go get work <laughs> pray that you all get filled with the holy spirit today as i go down and come up so if you feel anything then that's god working don't say that the wrong way Rob. anyway walter <laughs> i bless you all <laughs> Behave yourself, you're on the field now. <laughs> Rob, are you trusting Jesus as your very own personal saviour? Absolutely. I take that as a yes. Yes. 
Are you promising me you're going to...